Hi everyone, it's Bobby. I have a Halloween mini album to share with you. This mini album measures eight and a quarter by eight with a one and three quarter inch spine. Uh, this album is made with a bunch of different Halloween collections uh, by Recollections from Michaels. So on the front, I have the patterned paper here and then I put the words, or the word spooky. I've got some gold trim and beware and it's wrapped the spine is wrapped in black cardstock and i just put orange on the spine and then here's the back looks kind of like a dictionary of all the halloween words and then my stamp is at the bottom the inside cover has a large pocket and i used this cut apart here with glitter on it, I think you can see the glitter there, uh, as the tab, and then there's a magnet in there, so that opens up, and inside this pocket, oh sorry, this flips down too, inside is another cut apart, and then some more of that kind of dictionary paper, and then there's also this orange paper that's like a dictionary kind of as well. So like I said, these are a few different Halloween collections, um, that I got at Michael's. I think they're all the uh, Recollections brand. Then over here I have a little pocket with two little tags in it. And this flips open. There's a little pumpkin here that I made with one of my pumpkin dies. And then inside I have a little booklet with a jack-o-lantern on it. And then, oops, this is a little cut apart here that I made into a booklet as well. And that just hangs on the pocket there. Uh, also with this pumpkin, I left it open at the side so you could tuck something in there if you wanted to. And then all of these pages have a large photo mat inside that you could put photos or journaling or whatever you like on them and I covered those on both sides. And then, I think you can see it, I've inked all of these edges with the Distress Inks, let's see, mine is a little worse for wear, <laughs> uh, the Distress Inks in Vintage Photo. next page has a little pocket here with boo and I just made a tag to fit in there and then this is a flap that lifts up and it's just orange on the other side with little circles and some glitter and then I've got a pocket along this side as well as this little triangular pocket at the bottom so here's a cut apart trick-or-treat and then a little booklet with the spider paper in the side, and then this one I had just down here in the corner pocket. Over here, I've got a little pocket at the bottom, again one of those little pumpkins that I cut out with my pumpkin dies, and this was from a package of Halloween ephemera that I got also at Michael's, it's just white on the back, and then this was from one of the paper collections. And then I have some more of that dictionary page. Spider webs on the back. And that flips open. And on this side, I used another cut apart that says danger, poison, as kind of a tuck spot. And I have this music, the ghost that never walked. And then I have a large pocket here with two tags and each tag has a little spider cut apart on it. And then the photo mat has the gold and black and then the gold pumpkins. Oh. 
this side I have another cut apart Halloween October 31st and then the year is and you could write the year down below and another pumpkin at the bottom and a little tuck spot with a cut apart danger or poison caution strychnine that lifts up and this flips down inside the pocket here I have a tag which also has a pocket on it that has this little tag in it and again poison caution and all that that fits in there and then this whole thing fits in the pocket and then on the bottom flap I use this tag that says zombie virus and I just glued it in the center so you can tuck things in the bottom and then you can also tuck things in the top This side has another cut apart, bed bug poison, and inside there is a little tag that says trick or treat. And then that flips open, and I used a pumpkin as a tuck spot again. Another one of those little poison labels, and then in this pocket, I have a little booklet that says rat poison, and again, some of that orange dictionary paper. And this photo mat has the orange polka dots and then some black and white swirls on the back. This side has a cut apart that says Happy Halloween with a pumpkin and I use that as a little pocket or a tuck spot for this tag. And then this flips open. Sorry, it's hard to stay in frame. And on the flap, I have a little tuck spot at the bottom with a, one of those little danger labels again. And then in the center of the page, I have a pocket with two larger tags. One says trick or treat, and then one's just the black with gold polka dots. And this side has another cut apart, it has a tuck spot, and some of that dictionary paper. It's got a skull and a spider at the bottom, very spooky. And then this flips open. These two pages are very similar. Uh, this flips open and there's a tuck spot here with another one of those poison labels. There's a tag. And then in the center there's a pocket with two large tags. This one has an owl done in a metallic gold and this one is just black triangles. And then the photo mat is the black and white swirls with black and white stripes on the other side. This page, very orange, again one of those little poison labels for a tuck spot. This one's kind of like a bookmark size. And then this flips over, another little tuck spot there. And then this flips over and there's another pumpkin as a tuck spot with a orange tag there. And then in the center there's a pocket with a large tag inside. And then the back cover is similar to the front cover. So if you remember, the front cover had two flaps this way. The back cover has two flaps vertically. And I used one of these little labels again as the spot to put the magnetic closure. So that flips open like that. There's a large tag inside and another one of those labels that I used as a tuck spot. So that is my Halloween album. Thank you for watching.